Today we're going to be testing out the John Deere X320. I have this mower in my possession for a couple weeks. We have not actually mowed with it yet because I'm going to undercoat the deck with a mower deck undercoating, which I might do a video on. So I don't want to mow yet because the deck has never been used. It's a prime time to coat that. But I'm going to do a review of some of the features and just the performance actually maneuverability and driving around with the uh, X320. Um, it's not my mower and it's kind of a long story why I have it for the next two weeks but um, it'll probably be placed into service right off the bat in uh, the next probably two or three weeks. So it's just here, uh, it has less than an hour on it so I'm just going to break it in. You really don't have to break it in but I'm just going to run it, get it hot, drive it around the yard a little bit for the first couple hours, just kind of give it an easy first few hours before it does full throttle mowing and, and uh, running hard for a couple hours. And it's a neat toy. I think it's a really nice looking tractor. I think it's well built. And uh, I just want to give it a shot and uh, just play with it a little bit. I probably will do a video of mowing once I get the deck undercoated. And I'll probably uh, get to put a few hours on it here and there, and I'll probably do updates on it a while and see how it's holding up. I'll probably try to do an update every hundred hours. And here's the John Deere X320. It's a 2009 model. Brand new, it has less than one hour on it. It's a beautiful machine, that's for sure. Looks good, I think. Okay, I'm going to start it up and take it outside. Slip on here. This is going to be kind of hard. One hand. Well, here's the walk around of it. It has a 48 inch deck. I think it has a 22 horsepower engine. It's a Kawasaki motor. It is a 22 horsepower motor made by Kawasaki. It's a two cylinder, of course. I'll tell you what, this engine is smooth. Thing runs like a dream. I like the Kohler motors and the Cub Cadets, but I'll tell you what, this thing seems like it's probably a little bit nicer. I like the deck height adjustment on it. It's locked right now. Your left pedal's for your deck height adjustment, which is locked, so you need to push down, let go. That sets your deck height. This knob here. So say you want it on see three inches there we go I like that it has quarter inch adjustment in between so you could fine-tune it however you want which I think is nice I like the uh, foot pedal for raising and lowering that deck I think that's a good idea it's pretty neat and of course it has a pretty decent sized steering wheel I think it makes it a lot easier to turn and the steering on this thing feels really nice compared to our uh, cheaper Cub Cadet. And I think it feels better than the L-Series steering wheel. It just feels like it, it's much tighter, more precision. Here's your key, of course. Headlight position. Run. Crank. Um, here's your PTO. Cruise control and parking brake. And this is a two position PTO switch. That's your normal mowing, and you have to pull up like that to mow in reverse. For it's a safety feature. Here's the motor here. The oil filter is nice and easy to get at. I like the oil drain, it's extended past the frame. So it looks like it'd be pretty easy to change the oil in. The air filter is underneath this cover. Looks like you just take these two nuts off. 
There it is. Can't beat that. The fuses are easy to get at. This is sort of a neat little feature. It actually has a plug for your sprayer. Which I can't get the end off. But it's nice because some mowers have 12 volt power outlets, but you still have a plug like this that you have to make up into a, a lighter attachment. So this just kind of saves you the stub. That's pretty neat. It's the way they all should be. The deck isn't much different than that on the L-Series. In fact, I think it's the same metal. I think this just has a heavier frame. It has a Kawasaki motor versus a uh, Briggs motor. I don't think there's anything wrong with the L-Series. This just seems a whole lot nicer to me. This is going to be used to cut about two and a half acres, three acres of grass. It doesn't have the infamous automotive style lug nuts to hold the rear wheel on. But it's just a little circlip. That seems easier to me. All you need is a screwdriver and the wheel will come right off. It has a tough torque transaxle. I do not believe it's serviceable. I think it has steel gears in it. I think it's probably going to work pretty well, I hope. Not much time on it at all. Let's start it up and see how it sounds. It's a really smooth motor. I mean, the thing has no vibration at all. I like the... Okay, right here is about a 25 degree slope. Well, it's not quite 25 degrees, but it's over 20. See how the mower goes up it. Let's see if I can get around this cluster of a mess of a drive. 